NASCAR's Chicago street race is a daredevil's labyrinth. This weekend in the United States' third largest city, for the first time anywhere, 80 NASCAR drivers careen through downtown skyscrapers at speeds up to 240 kilometers an hour. This is a city street what people take every day for their commutes and tourists come to see the beautiful fountains and the museums. So um, each corner is different, manholes, concrete, asphalt, so uh, we got to tackle all of it. For two days, in two races, some of the world's best drivers, who usually turn left in a loop, squeal around 12 turns, many of them 90 degrees, over 3.5 kilometers, with lanes narrowing without warning. So you might go from a five or six lane road down to a, a one lane road. On these tight corners, drivers can throw sharp elbows. If you don't complete a pass, uh, I guess we'll come down and play a game of chicken uh, from four lanes to two lanes and see who lifts and who doesn't. Protecting spectators and Chicago landmarks are 2,000 concrete barriers, each more than three meters long and topped by fencing. This isn't just a race, this is a festival with concerts and carnival rides, an exhibition of excess and speed, with muscle cars going way over the limit through downtown streets on Independence Day weekend. And what could be more American than that? Some fear the race sends the wrong message in a city with an illegal street racing problem that spun out of control. Under polluted skies where ghost bicycles dot the landscape where cars have killed cyclists. We think that having a street race uh, hosted in Chicago at this time sends the wrong message to drivers at, the, at a time where we really need them to be slowing down. Amongst these canyons, the sounds of NASCAR will echo. For the Stock Car Association, the spectacle of a street race is an opportunity. It's about going to new markets and introducing our sport to new audiences. So while we have this really great fan base, it's a tremendous opportunity to expose a whole new audience to NASCAR. The road to success is long, windy, and full of potholes. But with a three-year contract with a Windy City, NASCAR has two more years to get the Chicago street race over the finish line. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago. The Basketball World Cup starts at the end of next.